Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. I'm gonna have some toast and an egg. I'm just gonna fry an egg, and then I realized my fry pans are in the dishwasher. Yes, I'm one of those people who put the fry pans in the dishwasher. And so the only fry pan I had left that wasn't a huge monster pan was this little baby pan. So I'm gonna use it. And I think I've only used it twice, but today I'm gonna to use it again. And I'm just gonna make one egg, so this ought to be perfect. And I'm gonna be using this bread here. This is Dave's Killer Bread. Um, it's the 21 whole grains and seeds and yeah so let's get this going okay I have my little wad of butter heating up put in my toast I'm just gonna do one piece and I'll put that down in just a minute and I have my Christmas pajamas on yesterday I had my Halloween pajamas on so here goes nothing. <laughs> there. The hard part is flipping it in this little pan. So I'm just, I don't have a spatula that's small enough to fit in here, except for this little tiny one. And it's not plastic, so I have to be careful not to scratch my pan. But that's okay. Isn't that so cute? My mom actually used hers and she would fry an egg in it or scramble it. She cooked her hot dogs in it. Put a little bit of pepper. And a little bit of salt. And I'm gonna eat it on top of my toast. Let's see if I can flip it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Look at that, it's nearly perfect. Just like McDonald's or something just popped up right before I hit record. So there's that. When they say thin toast, they mean thin toast. Okay, so there's that. Oh, that is so perfect right there. So all I'm going to do now is just kind of break the yolk. Look at that. Kind of smear it around. I see a slimy a slimy wad right there. I thought for sure I would have cooked it long enough. So anyway, this is my breakfast. Mm -mm. So here I am fully dressed today and look I even have my makeup on I have not worn eye makeup since I did that makeup tutorial using my new Laura Geller palette <laughs> what's that like a month ago three weeks ago but um, I decided to just wear it because it's February 1st and it's the month of pink and so I just want to try to wear pink or red as much as I can this for the next 14 days. I don't know. We'll see. But I got this shirt at Walmart a couple months ago after Christmas. But um, this is the first time I'm wearing it. And it's just by Time and True. 
And this is a large, and I don't remember, did I get it in the juniors or wherever? I don't even remember. But um, yeah, I like it a lot, it fits well. And then even my leggings are from Walmart. They're old, they've got the fleece lining inside and they feel so nice. And this is my mom's necklace. Well, not this, I made that one. But this is my mom's diamond heart necklace that she got from my stepdad. I don't know if it was for Valentine's Day or for her birthday. I don't remember. But so every February, I'll wear it every day through Valentine's Day. So that's what this is about. And then I even have her diamond heart earrings in. She wore these every single day toward the end of her life, just every day for, for like a couple years, just every day. So um, I'm gonna wear these a lot too. And I got a package today. Okay, so I caved and I bought a necklace from QVC over a week ago. And usually you order something and then they process it like the next day and then it's shipped. They took like four or five days to even process it. It was just kept saying processing, processing. And I thought for sure they were just gonna cancel my order because they've done that before when they took that long. But it shipped and it wasn't supposed to come till tomorrow and it came today. <laughs> so let's go have a look at it. I haven't even opened it yet. So let's go look. And I have my few Valentine's Day decorations up. I just have a few and so that's all I need. All right, you la la, even the box is pink. And it's a Diamondique. And I'm really hoping, I love it. It was a choice between sterling silver or gold plated silver. Like, I think it's 14 karat gold plate. Let's see, it comes like this. Oh, I love it way more than I thought I would. Oh my goodness. It's more dainty in real life. I'm so excited. I'm trying to, I'm surprised it came in one of these little baggies. Usually they have it on a little card stock or something. Oh, it is so so pretty. Where are my glasses? If they were a snake, they would have bit me. Oh, wow. This is so pretty. On TV, the stones looked a lot bigger. And I'm glad that they're not because I think they're prettier when they're a little bit more small. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, here it is. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. And this is one of those ones that I can wear every day. I just love it. Yes, I do. So that's that. So for Valentine's Day, just a few little things. So right here, I have this little mason jar from Dollar Tree. I got this years ago. And I just put these little red um, sparkly styrofoam balls in there. And then in this one, I have some candy hearts. And then this I bought last year. And I Mod Podged, um, tissue paper on it. This is, I think, the Pioneer Woman tissue paper. Blue, there's this robin egg blue, and then this really pretty um, red design. My friend Rachel gave me a lot of this tissue in my gift that she sent me last year. So I saved it, and I just love to decoupage with it. So there's that. And then over here, I this is what I made last year. 
And so I just hang that up here. And these hearts and the ribbon, everything's from Dollar Tree except for these little wooden beads. But the jute, the hearts, the ribbon, it's all Dollar Tree. And then it's double-sided, so if I want, I can make them all blue or all red or every other one. So that's there. And then I put this cute garland. This is, these are wooden beads. I can't remember who gave this to me last year. Whoever you are, thank you so much. I know, I am so bad at that. I really do need to write down what people send me. I used to way back in the day and then I just sort of stopped and I really wish I would have written things down because sometimes I forget. But um, thank you to whoever, whoever you are who sent me this. I just think it's so cute draped up like that. Hi, Mo. I have this garland on the fireplace. This is what I always have. Um, these little crystal or glitter hearts came from Walmart. I have, I got these seven, a few years ago. I don't know, three or four years ago. But they're really pretty when they sparkle. So it's really plain, but that's what I'm putting there. And I had an extra one, so I just put it in this tablecloth wreath that I made. And, um, yeah. I just put it in there. There, my magnets. I had a bunch of these wooden pieces. I bought them years ago. I even had them in my old house before, before we even moved here. It's like, these are at least 14 years old. And I had several of them, and so I turned them into magnets. So that's... I put those up and that's it. And then my friend Tina, <clears throat> excuse me, sent me this last week. My first Valentine's Day card. She sent me some really cute heart stickers. There were some more and I don't know where they went. I thought I put them in the same place together, but I'll have to find them. But I really enjoy those. So thanks, Tina. You're always sending me such cute cards. I just love you. Here's my Simply Limeade. It is so good. I only have that much left. I just love it. And then, um, there's a Pepsi and a Dr. Pepper. My eggs, they don't fit up in here because it's a triple pack. I only have room for a double pack. Here are my yummy refried beans that I love so much. But yeah. Put some more of these in. Daryl likes his water is cold. I actually like to drink mine at room temperature or just a little bit cold. I'm really weird that way. So some waters I'll put in the fridge and then the rest I'll just put in the cupboard. I was gonna make um, tacos tonight, but I looked in my fridge and my tomatoes were bad and I thought about going to the store today, but just for tomatoes, I don't know. Cause I'm gonna go out with Kelly tomorrow. We're gonna go have lunch together and she's got some gift cards she wants to spend at Ross. And so I thought, well, maybe I'll just pick up some tomatoes tomorrow. So tonight I think we'll have meatloaf and I have little um, baby yellow potatoes and some green beans or broccoli, whatever Daryl wants. So, yep, I think that's what we'll do for dinner. I almost forgot, I need to prep my salad here. These are just organic romaine hearts. And I meant to do it the other day when I was preparing my meat, my chicken and my hamburger, but I forgot. So I just, take these and I wash them, separate the leaves, and then I put them in one of these. And this came from Dollar Tree. It's just a sure fresh container, a nice flat square one. 
and it's got a really nice lid that goes to it. And so I'm gonna use that and then I've got extra containers if this isn't large enough. So yeah, and what I do is cut off the bottom of the stalks and I just throw them away in this bag. And then I will go ahead and wash these up and then I lay them all to dry on this tea towel. This was my mom's tea towel and I brought it home with me. Okay, I totally thought I was recording, of course, and I wasn't, of course. So all I did was rinse them off like this. And then I put them in the basket. So they are nice and clean already. So I'm just gonna let them drain for just a little bit and then I'll spread them out on this towel and then I'll pat them dry with a paper towel. Okay, I've let them drain for just a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just lay them flat. Now I'm just going to start putting in the leaves. So I do that and then I'll put a couple more napkins down and add some more layers. Hopefully I can get all of these in here. And then I just put one more on top. You don't really have to, but I do it. And then it's okay if you scrunch them, it doesn't hurt them. There. Completely sealed off. And now let's put them in the refrigerator and these stay so fresh when you pack it like this. It's amazing. All right, we are ready. I'm gonna go ahead and make my meatloaf. I have a half pound of hamburger in here and I just mushed it and got it nice and ready for the fixins. So I'm going to mix in a bowl, an egg and some ketchup, mustard, some breadcrumbs, and of course you have to have Worcestershire sauce. Mm. I just love the way this smells. Oh, I need to get some more because pretty soon I'm gonna make Chex Mix and I like to use a lot of this. So um, instead of just dumping it all into the bag, I like to mix it all in the bowl first to make sure that there's no patchiness of ingredients going on, so. 
go ahead and crack my egg. I have a plate right there. Okay, no measuring, people. I just squirt it in. Some mustard. My stepdad always called mustard mouse turd. <laughs> so I almost said mouse turd. Some ketchup. And Worcestershire sauce. Oh yes, and seasonings of course. I'm gonna throw in some onion powder, garlic powder, and then nature seasons. Um, this has salt in it, so yeah, I really don't need to add more salt. Smells good already. I'm starving. Okay, mix this up. And, oh, I need onions. That's what I need. I almost forgot the onions. Let me get some of those chopped up. Okay, got some onion chopped. I'm gonna put those in right now. Put my wet stuff in, my sauce. And then just mix it up. And this way you don't get your hands all yucky because you're doing it in the bag. Now I'm going to add some breadcrumbs and try not to get too many in there because you don't want a mealy meatloaf. Every once in a while I'll put in a little too many breadcrumbs and it gets a little mealy. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know what that is in measurements right there. Just eyeball it. I'm gonna make several big meatballs out of this. So it's like meatloaf balls. But I'll just put this back in the fridge for now. And then when Daryl gets home, I'll start making dinner. All right. Okay, so in case I didn't mention it, I'm putting my meatballs in the air fryer. And sometimes I will just put them in without foil or parchment paper, but I like to use foil because it catches the grease. So I've already buttered. I just used butter and I'm just gonna put them in like that. And then I have my hands gloved up. So now I'm just gonna make some meatballs. Or you can make just two big um, meat, 
mini meatloaves. You can do whatever you want. So I'm just gonna plop them in like this. It's always handy to have these gloves. Um, we bought a whole bunch of these when COVID hit. So I have plenty and they're great to clean with as well. make them about the same size. Mm. I'm going to put these in the air fryer on the meat setting and I think this takes about 20 minutes. steak. It has a little picture of a steak and it's 12 minutes at 400 and that'll do it. I also have some potatoes that are finished and then we're going to have some of these green beans. Daryl loves the French style green beans so I'm just going to microwave these. Um, I just put a little bit of butter and salt and pepper in them. And then I just cover them up and I'll put them in for like a minute or so. Almost ready. Okay, I'm gonna taste my meatballs without um, balsamic glaze. And then I'm gonna put some glaze on. So good. I'm telling you, it's the Worcestershire sauce. I'm just gonna try a little bit. What? Put some peppers and mushrooms in the meatloaf next time? Mm. No, no, no. Mm. That's kitchen sink meatloaf. <laughs>
That's a good one. No. Doug used to always put mushrooms and peppers and onions. Mm, yeah. Oh, I hated it so bad. And he'd give me like this big flipping loaf, this big <laughs> piece of the loaf. But since he, he let me eat my room and I had my own bathroom. Pick them out. <laughs> and so I'd pick out the mushrooms and all the peppers and then flush them down the toilet. <laughs> Mo, she's like, I spy butter. <laughs> Maybe next time I'll make half and half and I'll put mushrooms in yours and peppers and whatnot. And I'll just leave mine with onions. I'm almost finished here, but I wanted to show you my meatballs nice and tender on the inside and you got a nice crust on the outside. I love my air fryer.